Hello everyone, this is Grumpy Gamer. Welcome back to another episode of Sif 5 Gods and Kings, our Rome playthrough. Um, last episode we conquered this city and consensus seems to be that I need to take these guys here out. This is Monty, uh, the Aztecs. Um, one guy suggested taking out his uh, other cities first. I kind of like that idea, but actually kind of what I was thinking is... Um, well, honestly, this city here is crap. I really like his capital. But what I do like about this is uh, he's got a lot of f uh, forest around here. That's going to make it pretty good for taking out his military, I think. But ideally, I think what I want to do is have some units like right here. And uh, the advantage of that is... is I'll be in a strong defensible position and he will have to he's got a big army he's gonna have to cross fields though um, to get to me and I think I'll be able to shred him up a little bit if he does that so I think what I need to do I'm gonna send my army in from the west and the south of Tino Chitlin um, if I take this city I'm gonna raise it well, wait a minute. That's actually looking like a good city now. It's got citrus, stone, and fish. I just didn't want... Honestly, I didn't want too many cities because I was going to kind of go for a cultural victory. Now, basically, the way it works is every city you t take over raises the cost of getting another social policy by 15%. So, in other words, if, if I got another city... Um, this would go up 15% or so, I guess. But anyway, um, looks like we're going to get a social policy next turn. And if we're going for a cultural victory, we're going to get all five, uh, one in each row. So we'll, we'll, let's, let's see what goes on here. I may not necessarily go for a cultural victory. I hadn't really decided. I, I, I don't think you can go wrong by getting social policy. This, any social policies you can handle though. That sucks. Adopting piety allows you to build shrines and temples in a half the usual time. Let me see what these policies are. Plus one faith from shrines, blah blah blah. Temples increases the gold's output by 10%. Well, that was pretty nice. Wow, that's pretty nice, actually. Well, this one right here is good, too. Adopting liberty will increase... Um, Culture in every city by one. Let's see if it's got anything else that gets culture. Um. Each city you found will increase the culture and c cost of policies by 30% less than normal. Um, I don't understand what that's saying. Hmm. I'm not sure if I want to go with honor this time. Oh, this is pretty good though. Honor is pretty good. Well, you know, actually, I'm going to be going... If I go for a culture victory, I have to have one in each category, I believe. And so Liberty, I can't go wrong. It's going to give me plus one culture every turn right now. We'll just go with Liberty. And yeah, that raised it up a little bit. I only got three cities, so it's not raising up a massive amount. But it's raising it up some. Um, one thing I do need to build. I forgot what it was. Oh, well, so I need to build a workboat somewhere. I don't remember what Rome's building. National College. These guys are building 
Petra. I sure wish I could rush that somehow. And those guys are building the circus. Okay. So, what's these workers going to work on? Hmm. There's something there to build. I can't see what that is, though. I actually don't remember. Oh, it's iron. Yeah, we'll go ahead and build there. And we got a stone quarry. Yeah, we're getting our production up pretty good now. I don't know what these guys are. must be building a lumber mill. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I need a bigger military, but I, I'm scared to get to a bigger military. One, it costs a lot. And I don't have much gold. The secondly, more importantly, is um, if I'm building military units, that's time I, I'm not building... Uh, um, what should we call it? Uh, wonders and things like that. I guess for right now we'll just keep going ahead and uh, working on infrastructure right now. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting. I'm glad I finally remembered. Somebody's wanting me to turn on the scores. Single player score list. There we go. Accept turn the game. Oh wow, I'm in first place. I really don't quite understand that because um, I cranked the difficulty up a couple of levels. I thought it was going to be a little tougher to be in first place. Build a farm there. This is actually, uh, that's kind of, I want to kind of be close. I don't want to get I don't want to monkey stomp everybody else, and I don't want them to monkey stomp me. I guess that's what everybody wants. It's just like when you're watching a football or a boxing match. You don't want it to be all one-sided. I remember back in the day when Mike Tyson used to fight, and people would get pissed because he'd go out there and knock the guy out 60 seconds into the round. And if people pay $150 to watch it on pay-per-view, they expect some big 15-round slugfest, and the fight's over in 60 seconds. Oh, I would have been pissed. But uh, honestly, I've, I never paid for any of that kind of stuff. See, people, I, this is what scares me, too. I'm getting out, out, really out teched right now. Um, so what are these guys going to build? Oh, we can build a farm here. I wonder why these guys could build farms. I thought farms had to be next to fresh water. Remember that counts as fresh water? Yeah, it says it's a river there. Why are they building a uh, farm here? I know there's a tech. I was thinking there was a... You had to be next to water. And then uh, there's a tech that unlocks that lets you build without water, like irrigation or something. I don't remember how it works. Not without water, but without being next to a fresh water source. Uh, click next turn. So yeah, somebody needs to build a work boat. Wittenberg has grown. That's cool. The workers can drive me crazy. Well, let's build a forest here. You know how to do. Rome's got tons of forest. Um, well, I was thinking. Wait a minute. There we go. Yeah, okay. I was hoping that Rome doesn't work this tile. I don't remember. There's a way to swap tiles back and forth. Yeah, here we go. You can swap tiles. I'm going to have three wonders, or two wonders in three turns, so. I'm really wanting to wonder, I forget what it was, it was uh, 
Notre Dame or something gives a massive amount of happiness. Lots of excess happiness is good because what that does, if you're not familiar with Civ, I believe it um, adds to your Golden Age counter. Oh, I entered the middle of there. That's cool. Seems like these guys are building really fast. Just fine with me. A jungle. Let's go ahead and build some more farms. Luckily, it looks like it looks like the AI developed this area pretty good already. Choose research. Let's go with optics. It's only two turns. I've got two coastal cities right now. All right, I got Petra. Okay, now we see what it does. So I can remember. Plus one food production and gold for all desert tiles worked by the city. Plus six culture once archaeology is discovered. Provides a free amphitheater in the city in which it is built. That is an awesome monument. Hmm. Choose production. Um, let me see what kind of monuments we got. Oh, we can still do the Colossus, the Great Wall. Honestly, I don't care. I like, well, the only thing I like about the Great Wall is the Great Engineer point, but otherwise I could care less about it. This one's pretty good. Gold plus five, Colossus. Um, culture plus one. Plus one gold from all water tiles worked by the city. Let me try to try to figure out which city to build that in, actually. I think one of them needs... Well, here's what we're going to do. These guys need to build the work boat so that I get access to the wells. Wait a minute. Let me make absolutely sure that there's not something already built on the wells. No. Okay, so I need to build a, a work boat. And over here, um, let me see, one, two, three. Man, those fish are just out of range to be working by the city. Um, and choose some production here. What's temples do? Plus two maintenance, plus two faith. Yeah. I am going to go with... Oh, wow. This city's production is actually higher than Rome's, I think. Rome's is 18. Oh, I'm sorry. Rome's is 17. These guys are 18. I'm going to toss up here. I ain't even going to build a workshop or a market. Still want to build the Colossus. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the workshop and then I'll build the Colossus there. So that one wonder. Uh oh. You'll pay for this in time. So I guess Montezuma decided for me we're at war. So let me go ahead and move my military up. Um, those guys need to go build somewhere. So go build a mine here on top of this hill. We'll kind of move them out of the way, too. We'll send our ballista up to the fray. I kind of wish I had a road from here to here, but, oh well. Let's wake these guys up, too. Um, 
I'm probably gonna need everybody I can get. Um. I don't know what to do with those guys. Let's move them back into the city. Skip the archer's turn. Um, I did manage to get a couple good defensive def positions here. We'll just have to see how I do. So I got these guys on a jungle on a hill, so they're going to be hard to displace. And you got to remember, too, that I think he's got ancient air special units, and I've got classical air special units. So these two guys right here are probably going to do a pretty good job of holding the front. Um, I don't have the money to purchase any units, but... Ooh, I like the idea of that great lighthouse. Let's see what it did. No, no, I didn't. I remember what it does now. It just gives you plus movement to naval units and stuff. Let's go ahead and switch production to another legion. Um, change production to another legion here. I'm really going to need another ballista too, but... Um, National Epic, Amphitheater, Guilds. Physics, Notre Dame. Notre Dame. That one takes a lot of turns. Let's do drama first. Unfortunately, he is going to get a lot of free hits in on me here. Oh, yeah, that, that really helps. He didn't get a chance to attack me first. Well, let's set this guy up. He's already got a target. Bam, that guy's already like out of the fray. I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me tackle these guys first and check that out. Nope, I don't like that. You should let these guys attack those. What these guys attack here, that's instantly going to take his catapult out of the fray. So that makes it extremely difficult for him to take a city. Yeah, he shouldn't be messing with me. I had two two legions. I'm like, I'm going to be doing pretty good. Oh, I still get to fire with a longbowman. Let's well, go ahead and take those guys out. I had to give his Jaguars room to move up. Oh, I didn't take them out. Oh, these guys get to choose production. And these guys got a horrible production. Man. You know what? Hold on a second here. Wait a minute. Maybe buy a tile, I don't know. Not yet, yeah. I was thinking I may buy some tiles though. I still need to choose this production. <coughs> I'm gonna go with the uh, uh, workshop. It's gonna take forever, but it's gonna take forever no matter what I build there. Now I'm going to have Ooh man my people are starving That's not a good thing 
Well, they're not starving, but if you look at them on the last place, place on food production. So we'll work on getting that up. I'm going to go and fire on these guys. This is pretty much taking Montezuma out of the fight. That sucks. He got those... I don't know how those archers that I didn't kill. Surely they shouldn't, couldn't move away that much. They were right here. I don't know. I have to go back and watch, but I don't think I killed them. Oh, just forgot what we're going to do. We're going to attack these guys. I wish I could have hunted down that catapult, but unfortunately being in jungle, every unit can only move one tile at a time, so he's already out of range. There's no way I'd be able to get to him. Okay, we'll move these guys up to here. Oh, they can still move. Well, I don't want to move him any closer to there because he's just going to get a free hit on me, so let me skip his turn. He's completed the Great Mosque of Dijin. The Arabs have. What is drama but Okay, somebody got promoted. Let's let's promote whoever can first. Oh yeah. He's gonna go for the insta heal. Hopefully I can take some of his units out. We're out. Hmm. I got it taking that catapult out. You know, I'm thinking I'm going to purchase some tiles here anyway, so I'm going to uh, buy this tile. That puts that guy in my territory so he won't heal as fast. Oh, these guys are going to get tore up. I'm going to take his archers out, or, or weaken them anyway. This guy softened pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and move. Uh, oh, I can take these guys out with the spearmen. That's what I'll do. Oh, I forgot my uh, composite, mean, composite bowmen can still attack too. I shredded his army. Well, you know, I got two more legions on the way. Um, this battle's not going like he he wants it to go. We're at war. I'm going to go ahead and attack him. But I really think I need another ballista to do it effectively. So uh, I'll probably go. I'll let my units heal up. In the meantime, I'll be building um, a ballista somewhere. A second one. Civil service, Pac-Man. Yeah. We need that. That's going to increase our food output. That looks like they want to be friends again. Works for me. Why is this guy guarded?
You bet wonders that they have coveted. And they believe you are a warmongering menace to the world. Okay. Let's see if we can't trade with somebody. We'll trade with... Well, let's just see if we can trade with him. It still says, please wait. Oh, it's not my turn. Computer's taking a sweet time this turn. It does that occasionally. Oh. Still slow popping up, but there we go. Oh, he's got marble. Um... What do you want for this? Um, no, he ain't got nothing I want. Where was anybody I hadn't? Still not my turn. There we go. Well, he finally took out my uh, one guy there, but. Let me level up my people first. Yeah, this guy gets a promotion, and what's that guy's in a jungle? Which is rough terrain. So let's give him barrage. Oh crap, he can't attack. Oh yes he can. Hmm. Oh, city can still attack. Well, that sucks losing the uh, one legion. Those guys are pretty much ineffective right now. I'm actually, let me see where Terracotta's at. There in plains in a river. Oh, we got all these forests around here. Oh, that's a tough call. I'm going to do open terrain on them. Yeah, I'll be able to wipe those guys out. What have I lost so far? I, th I believe I just lost the one legion, so this fight definitely went in my favor. Which, unfortunately, I was, I was like, unless you're playing against a human, um, the AI is just not that good. He, he had a better military than me, maybe, but um, I was just better at using what I had than he was. Let me see, what am I going to do with these catapults? There's nothing I can do with them. I, uh, I can't move them. I can move them to here. Let's do that. Oh, I need to renew my... Oh, cool. I, re recruited. I had enough faith to do a building, so... We'll do the pagoda. Yeah, let's do, that's good. Two happiness, two culture, two faith. Okay. Wittingburg has grown. You know, Jaguar is pretty tough. Somebody got promoted. These guys got promoted. We'll give them rough terrain. So obviously, they're in rough terrain. Um, we'll rest him until healed. It's time to bring our military home to rest them. Let me see if I got enough money to purchase another tile. No. Well, there's our second legion. I sure wish I had barracks. These guys could be getting upgraded right now. 
I'm gonna go over here and let him build a lumber mill. Yeah, I've got a ton of workers now. I think I got four workers. So I don't need any more. Matter of fact, I could maybe be able to delete one. I'll hold off on that though. I'm gonna look at the Legion, we'll move him up. And this guy, he's gonna build uh, another ballista. Hmm. Move this guy up. Move this guy back in our own territory, let him heal. Gonna move this guy out. And I think it's time these guys work on another wonder. Let me see what can they build. I don't know, is this national epic that good? It just doesn't seem that good. 25% great people generated in the city. I don't know. But I'm going to do the Colossus here. Give me some extra gold, merchant point, and uh, that kind of thing. Peace treaty. You give me some ivory. No, we're going to refuse. And Sith 4, I would have gone ahead and taken that because you had war readiness, which I kind of wish they still had that in this game. Had a lot more depth to it, I think. Um, yeah, we're just going to put those guys to sleep. Let's see... I need to move, I actually need to move this ballista back. Because he's kind of blocking these other units from getting in front of him. Here. Let's move these guys up. Skip that guy's turn. Move this guy up. You know, I may go down here and actually take this city because, um,. I don't know. I'll take it and raise it and I'll swing my army north. But it looks like a good place to wrap up this episode. We ended up with a little excitement. We we got war going on. Um, I really think that put a major hurting on Montezuma. I wish he would have taken somebody else like Rotting Dam or something. But he chose to go for me. What is that? cotton i think i already have cotton oh one thing i need to do before i end the episode is need to talk to ditto and we need to trade with her again Dumb. first what will make that deal work five iron you're crazy no you're not getting iron i would give you the four horses no that ain't gonna happen well, I guess we'll do the same deal we had before where I'll just take money for it. Ooh, that's pretty good, actually. 60 gold and 4 gold per turn. As you can see, it looks like Arabs are my <coughs> biggest threat right now as far as score goes. You can't go just by score. I mean, this guy's actually building wonders, too. And I still think I'm getting pretty out-teched. But we're building another ballista, and once we build the ballista, um, we are going to go hit Montezuma. Now, somebody already suggested I take out his two small cities first. I don't think that one's a good one to take out first. The reason being is when I swing up here, I'm completely exposed. He's going to produce units here, and I'm going to be cut off, that kind of thing. I don't want that to happen. Down here, um, that wouldn't happen. Um, I'd, his city would be in front of me instead of behind me. 
But if I take the city, I'm just going to raise it. I don't think there's anything there to justify. Um, the only thing it's got that I don't have is the citrus. But, you know, actually the stone, that gives me extra faith, too. I forget what, exactly what all it did. It two, two faith, so I would get some faith. Okay, now here's, here's the questions for this episode. Should I take this city first? Now, if I take it, should I raise it or keep it? I'll obviously puppet it. I'll never completely take it over. But okay, should I take go here first or just go for the gold and go straight for his capital? If I go for his capital, I'm gonna get ivory, citrus, and those are two luxury resources I do not have right now. And uh, I think actually too, that's his main war production city probably. I mean, his other two cities are crap. Five and four population. If I take that one out, that's a major hurting on him. So, once again, here's the questions. Take this city first or this one, and if I take it, should I raise it or keep it? So, until next time, it's Grumpy Gamer.